3D printed chain is an interesting topic because it works so well and you can make this at home so easily. I did this first time 4 years ago and it worked really well, but this time I improved the design and make this work even better. And I will show you another way how to make DIY chain at home that is even stronger, faster to make and might be even cheaper, without using any 3D printers at all. This video is sponsored by Brilliant. To understand why this design is better, first I have to show you the previous one. This one I made 4 years ago. This uses 3 different 3D prints per link. The biggest model serves the purpose of roller and inner link. And the second model that are needed 2 times per link is outer links. It's easy to put together. First you need M3 times 25mm bolt. Then goes one outer link. Next inner link plus roller. After that another outer link. And to finish this off, one lock nut. Then repeat this about 100 times or as long you want your chain. New design. First of all, this is really similar to the last one, but it has few key differences. One link now contains five different 3D prints, but still only two different models. Now the order that it goes together is following. M3 times 25 mm bolt. Link. Another link, aka exactly the same model than the previous one. Roller. Link. Link and M3 lock nut. So the key difference is the fact that the roller and inner links are not connected together anymore. But why does it matter? Well this changes everything. Before the rollers didn't roll, because they were melted together with the inner links. Actually in this case we cannot call those things rollers at all. Now the rollers are separated and they can roll. So this means this chain should run smoother, more efficiently and there will be less friction between the roller and the sprockets and both of them were at a slower rate. Also this design unlocks another manufacturing method but we speak about this a little bit later. The coolest thing about this 3D printed chain is the fact that it works really well. Back in the days I designed this to have solid 3D printed chain that I can use in my project whenever I need it and this have happened multiple times. But there were slight room for improvement so in this video I show you how to 3D print and build this. And for bonus I show you one way more without using any 3D printers at all. So first let's start 3D printing rollers and links. I started with the rollers. I plan to print 100 of those out of PLA with Pambulab H2S. Because the surface area that attached to the build plate is so small I was thinking it's smart to use raft. And well not a single one of them failed. But they were attached to the raft so strongly this caused me another issue. There is 100 of those and I'm not going to clean the raft off from every single one. So instead I printed them without the raft but in smaller patches. I did this multiple times and only one time 3 of them came loose. Thankfully with Pambula printers you can deselect the models that have failed and keep the rest of them printing. Links I printed also with PLA and I used Pambulab H2D. Because links have a bit more surface area than the rollers, I didn't use the raft here and I printed 200 of them in one go. Only two of them came loose. So now I have my links and rollers, also a load of M3 times 25mm bolts and M3 lock nuts, it's time to assemble the chain. The assembly is as simple as it can be, but a bit time consuming. First you push two links through the M3 times 25mm bolt, then the roller and again two links and secure them in place with M3 lock nut. By the way this is really important that you don't tighten the lock nut too hard, otherwise the chain would not function. Also make sure you use nylon lock nuts, other lock nuts and regular nuts won't work. So then just repeat the same process over and over again. I watched League of Legends World Championship turn into chain assembly, otherwise it would be way too boring. It's easier to assemble the chain in small sections and later connect them together. By the way those things you see on this channel are almost always my design from scratch. And I learned everything I do by myself online. There is no better time to learn whatever you want whenever you want. Brilliant is an excellent tool to achieve your goals. 
Brilliant helps you to become a better thinker and problem solver with the thousands of visual, interactive lessons in math, science, programming, data analysis and AI. It's a learning app designed to be uniquely effective. Instead of sitting class at the early morning hours and listening boring lectures, Brilliant offers you a choice when you wanna learn, where you wanna learn and how much per time by hand-on problem solving that lets you play with the concept, a method proven to be six times more effective than listening or watching lectures. Those lessons are engineered by professional teachers, researchers, university professors and world top tech company geniuses to offer you the best and most effective way to learn. If you want to learn something with Brilliant, you don't need any previous knowledge to start. I always wanted to know how to write the code or program some electronic devices to make my project way more advanced. Well, for me who don't have any previous knowledge about this topic, Brilliant is an excellent starting point. The exercise is going harder step by step and you see the results what you are doing right away. With Brilliant, I am not just learning how to get one task done, I am actually learning about the topic and understanding how it works and why. To learn for free on Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash let's print, scan the QR code on the screen and if you stay subscribed to Brilliant by using my code, you will get 20% off forever. So guys, good luck with the learning. But for now, back to the chain. Before we go to test or just build PLA chain, I want to show you the another method before. So another method is laser cutting. I'm using Xtool P2 CO2 laser cutter. This means I can cut every acrylic, including transparent. This is what I'm going to do. Okay, let me explain the plan. The chain link is 3mm thick. So for that, we need 3mm thick acrylic. And the roller is 8mm thick. For this, of course, we need 8mm acrylic. Also, we need two sketches. One for the link and one for the roller. Before I am going to cut the big patch, I first did a test to find out the best possible setting for the job. So now when I started cutting actual rollers, I didn't do this all per time. I did this multiple small batches. 8mm acrylic is actually pretty thick, but for Xtool BDU this is not a problem at all. This machine can cut up to 20mm thick transparent acrylic with one pass, so the 8mm PMMA is not even limit testing. So now when this is done, I moved on to links. Again, first I got few links to see everything is working fine. And it did. I also test assembled small amount of the chain to see that everything is perfect. And it seems to be. So now I have green light to cut 200 links out of 3mm acrylic. So let's get this done. Using laser cutter instead of 3D printer saves insane amount of time. Cutting one link takes around 7 seconds and one roller about 11 seconds. This saves you insane amount of time. Now when those are done, I have nothing else to do to assemble another chain. Well this time I did this completely off camera. But the chain itself turned out so nice. This actually feels better than 3D printed chain. This is way smoother. Only small issue I have with this chain is this little extra play. Because the laser cutter is way more accurate process than 3D printing, the clearance I added were way too much for laser cutter, while fine for 3D printer. So turning those holes inner diameters a bit down would make this excellent. For testing I set up a small test rig that doesn't move nothing, just spins the chain around, containing four sprockets.
Well, for sure it works and I didn't spot any issues with the chain. By the way, all chains should be lubricated. I didn't do it because I'm recording the video and running this chain at high speeds on my studio. So it would be a huge mess. But if the chain finds mechanical application, it will be lubricated for sure. But even though it was not lubricated, there is no visible wear on the chain or sprockets. But moving on, now it's time for acrylic chain. Well, straight away this felt way smoother and lot quieter, but everything else was basically the same. Chain runs with any issues and after the run no visible wear. Acrylic chain actually have a lot of potential for DIY projects. First of all, this is so much faster to make and even though we didn't run some strain tests, acrylic is way stronger material, way way stronger than 3D printed PLA. So simply for this reason we can claim this chain is stronger than 3D printed one. If you wanna build this chain by yourself, then all the files you find in the description. I hope you enjoyed and if so, liking this video and subscribing to the channel is a huge help. But again, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.